Hey guys, it's Laura. Welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be what I'm showing, um, what I am sending to Wendy Lee Designs. She is having a birthday challenge going on right now. Uh, it goes until the end of September. I will have her video describing the challenge or giving information about the challenge, um, linked down below, but this is what I put together for her. So from what I remember, it was the requirements were six six by six papers, two specialty papers, a set of handmade embellishments, um, some kind of crafty item like sequins or she said charms, I think, uh, an ATC card. And then for an additional entry, you could do a shaker of some sort. And she wanted it all to coordinate. The only thing I didn't have to coordinate was your ATC card. Um, but I decided to kind of let that coordinate as well. So this is what I'm going to do. So I was going to decorate this and make it just like into a giant shaker here at the top, but I thought, no, <laughs> um, I want to get this out. It's not due for a while, but I have some other mail I need to send. And so I want to get this out tomorrow. So I want to do this video and I mean, I think it looks fine from the top. So this is a container from Dollar Tree. They had them over the summer and it fit everything perfectly. So I'm gonna open this up and then on here I have my papers. I'm not going to take all these out. I have like a, you can probably see it there at the top, kind of a gunmetal uh, glitter stock, an orange glitter card stock. I have... Right here, you can see this gold textured foil cardstock. And then here on the top is a spiderweb acetate. And then here are my six by six sheets. Like I said, I'm not going to take it all out. Go ahead and follow Wendy. I think she is going to be doing videos of all of her entries. Um, so I'm really excited to see what everyone did. By the way, this was for a, basically she called it a craft kit. And it could be any holiday you wanted to choose. So any holiday and she just wanted the pieces to coordinate together so um here we have this so i shared on my instagram these cute little bows or witch clothespins um but when i did that i didn't have this bow done yet but i ended up making some acetate bows and they turned or yeah acetate bows and they turned out so cute love how they turned out and these paper clips paper clips clothes pins are nothing new um they've been going around for years i mean i was looking up embellishment for ideas and tutorials for these went back forever so in here i just have some more of those here's another one with the acetate bow and then these two separate bows and again those just clip on all right and then this is kind of just a little extra. This awesome, like, iridescent spiderweb bag came from Joanne's last year. And then in here, I just have these 3D shimmers. And these actually all light up. So this, the eyes. Um, this is kind of... There you go. You can kind of see the skull face on there. Where does he light up? There's his face. Uh, this one, the boo lights up, I have a ghost, oh, there he goes, kind of like his rib cage, and then Fright Night. You can see the letters, but the letters are lighting up. Um, and so I had bought a bunch of those from Paper House Productions. <laughs> They're not going to last forever before the lights go out, I'm sure. And I just, I don't want to waste them. And I haven't really used any. So I just thought I would give her one of each of the ones that I had so she can play and share them as she wishes. Um, just including some of these black and white striped beads. So here is my ATC card. This is only the second one that I've ever done. Um, and again, this could have been in any theme, but I chose to continue with the Halloween theme. Um, right here, these were just some, sorry for the glare, it's in a little cello bag. But these were just some like flat stickers. I did clear embossing on them here and here and there. Just used some star acetate, made a little frame. And then in the back, 
Um, it's just my information, and I try to do it in the same kind of shape as uh, the tombstone in the front, so you can't even see it. Um, here is the shaker that I included for like a little bonus entry. And as you can see, I used a lot of this like spiderweb paper. I actually I gifted that as well with my six by six paper pads. That's from Simple Stories. Um, but in here we just have some sequins. There's some seed beads. There's a little spider sequin up here. Some more uh, spider webs. We have that. Then I did this little guy. This was a cut file in Design Space, uh, and I just sized it to the size that I needed. I made a little shaker bow here to give him a little bow. Um, and this, I think it was like a candy bar wrapper, um, but I made these cute little uh, snowmen. Jeez. <laughs> these little ghost tassels. And these are not my idea. I cannot. Disco Dolly, maybe? Buzzing with V. I'm not sure. I'm not sure who came up with the tutorial for this, but I remember seeing it last year. And when I was thinking about Halloween embellishments, I could not not do these. So anyways, these were just on acetate and I will stick those back in there. And then here for the little um, crafty item, I just decided to do a little embellishment box. These stickers are just layered up from a paper house production pad and then this color is the color of um, glitter cardstock I included just has some little spider pieces here and then in here so right here I just have some candy corn little wood pieces I got these from oriental trading uh, here I have bronze colored charms all different ones uh, here there's silver Again, all different ones. Whoops. Um, and beads. We have a little cauldron down there, a little witch hat, and then these little flat back little uh, cabochon things. And then here we have just gold. We have um, more colored beads. Look at this cool little haunted house charm. More beads under there. There's a little black cat. Just all kinds of fun little goodies that I stuffed in there. So that is what I will be sending Wendy for her birthday challenge. And again, if you guys want to go check it out, I will have it linked below. And uh, thank you so much for watching. Bye.